Hi, this is Ethan Hine. Welcome to part two of Play With Your Music's MIDI tutorial. In the first part, I created a short one-bar dance music loop, uh, just a drum machine and a synthesizer playing a bass line. In this one, I'm going to use that same drum machine part, and I'm going to put some chords on top of it, and we'll explore some different synthesizer sounds within Soundation. So let's dive right in. So here's my Soundation session. I've got my, uh, my drum machine. Let's listen to that. The first thing I'm going to do is actually change the tempo. One of the beautiful things about MIDI is that you can play it back at any speed without having to do any tedious time stretching or any other audio processing. So right now it's at 125, which is kind of a medium up dance music tempo. And I'm going to bring it down to uh, 95, which is more of a hip hop tempo. Let's hear that. Now notice that the loop is the wrong length. Everything's a little bit longer now that it's slower, so I have to make my loop marker fit the music much better. All right, so instead of programming my chords from scratch, I'm going to use one of these MIDI clips that are uh, built into Soundation. The Soundation designers did a slightly unfortunate thing, which is they put their MIDI folder underneath free sounds, and this might cause you some confusion. Um, to reiterate, MIDI is not sound. MIDI is a set of instructions telling the synthesizer what notes it should play and when. Um, you still need to assign a sound to the MIDI clip. Uh, so what I'm going to do is use this clip called Four Chords Pluck C Sharp. Oh, but first I have to create a MIDI track for them to live in. So here's my MIDI track. And again, by default, it assigns the simple synth, which is aptly named. It's pretty simple. We'll choose a cooler sound as soon as we've got our clip in place. So chords pluck C sharp is really long. It's probably eight bars long. It's a lot longer than I need. So let's just listen to the first part of it. Yeah, that one bar is plenty. I'm going to cut off the rest of the clip using the scissor tool. And just select the rest and delete it. All right, so this is extremely boring. We can definitely improve it. I'm going to open up, open up the clip in the editor so you can see what we're doing. The main problem with this clip is the rhythm. It's really square. Everything is on the strong beats. So what I'm going to do is take this chord and move it later. I'm going to take this chord and move it later also. Also, hearing the same chord over and over again is pretty boring, so I'm going to take the second one and move it down a step. And I'm going to take the last one and move it up a minor third. And yeah, now we're cooking. I'm going to change the bass line. The bass notes to... Same note. Yeah, that's a lot more happening. All right. The next thing I want to do is choose a more interesting sound. This time I'm going to choose the uh, the whoop machine, which is aptly named. It's, uh, it's Foundation's dubstep synthesizer. As you can see on the piece of tape, it makes it go wub wub. And you'll notice that we're only hearing one note at a time. The wub machine is monophonic, meaning it only plays one note at a time. It's only playing the top notes. So let's have a look at the uh, presets. I'm just going to choose dub organ. See how that sounds? Pretty obnoxious. Let's see what else we got. Let's try wub wub. Yeah, pretty good. But very loud. Okay, next thing to do is put in another MIDI clip. But this time I'm going to create it from scratch. Uh, since we're in the key of C sharp, I'm just going to draw myself some C sharps. Great. This 
I hope stick with the simple sync. But I'm gonna play around with its parameters a little bit. First of all, the simple synth, like everything else, has presets. I'm gonna choose Moga Wishes. Much better. And I'm just gonna play with the filter envelope a little bit. Make it less intense. Turn it up. So MIDI tracks can have effects on them, just like audio tracks. So for the synthesizer part, I'm going to add some reverb. I'm going to choose the huge tail preset. Yeah, it gives it kind of a nice space of feeling. Now my drum beat is uh, feeling a little goofy. So I'm going to give it some company. I'm going to add another drum machine. This time I'm going to select the SPC, which is an homage to the MPC, a classic drum machine. I'm going to make another note clip for the beats to live in. So on the other drum machine, uh, C3 was the kick drum, and I think that's probably going to be the case here as well. Just so we can hear what we're doing, I'm going to solo it. Should we hear it? Maybe it's C4. Sometimes this takes a little trial and error. Oh, it's because I have to select some samples. <laughs> All right, I'm going to choose the Electro House sample pack. That's the kick. That's what we want. All right. There we go. Cool. And I'll also add some rim shots. Let's see if I can figure out where those go. Yeah, got it right. I'm just going to make a little syncopated pattern. Let's unsolo it. Cool. Much better. All right, there's my hip hop track in the Indian Sound Asian. 